So, I've just finished this video and it was supposed to be kind of just reacting to them and going over what had happened in their videos, but as usual, once you start looking closer, you find things and that's what's happened here. It wasn't even meant to be a debunking video, it was just kind of meant to be a let's react to it, everyone's asking me to, let's check it out. And I am a bit gutted because after everyone's recommendations, I was like, oh yeah, these guys are awesome, another channel to watch. But all the way through on my second watch, I was very suspicious and at the end, I think I've seen what's up. I was going to get to the end and give my opinion, you know, like kind of a review, but I'm just gonna say it now instead. So first off, I think these guys are awesome. Very likable, cool guys, but in my opinion, they're just an entertainment channel. I'd say it's not real paranormal investigations that they're doing. Their ghost videos are kind of just content for their channel. But if you like them, I'd definitely still say watch them because they do make very good videos. But I'd just say be aware that in my opinion, they're staging their paranormal activity. Look how creepy it is down there, Dose. <laughs> So I'll just leave the video as it was going to be from now. But if you want to just click to the timestamp where things get a little bit spicy, you can just click to that time here. How's it going? It is Mythos and apologies for only just getting to this video because I've seen many of you asking in the comments to check it out when it first came out on the boys channel about two months ago. I've partly just been busy with other videos, but also when I looked at their profile, I seen the typical YouTuber thumbnails that you see on other channels, you know, like Mr. Beast and stuff where it's people just doing challenges or whatever. So I was like, that's not really my thing. But then I kept seeing people ask about the lighthouse video and I was like, fine, everyone, if you're bullying me into watching it, I'll watch it. And then when I did, I was like, whoa. Number one, like I said with their thumbnails, I thought they were going to be the usual screaming over the top YouTubers that we've come to know now. <laughs> but they're actually cool as f and I really like them. And two, I was shocked at how good their investigation was and how good and relevant their evidence and responses were. But from past experiences on here, I've pretty much realized when something leaves me a bit jaw dropped and like, whoa, it's fake. Now, I didn't get fake vibes from them though, but what we're going to do today is go through their lighthouse video and also maybe some others, kind of do a review and at the end we'll go over over the evidence that they get. Okay, so because I liked their Lighthouse video, I started to watch all of their ghost videos on their channel. I went back from the newest one, which is the Lighthouse one, just to the oldest. Each video I watched, going back to their oldest, just got more and more silly. And how I originally expected they were going to be like, you know, kind of the typical YouTuber playing pranks on each other and stuff. Eddie. What? Bullshit. Oh, I'm getting chills, man. Oh, uh, turn the f light. Ah! Oh! Was that you, motherfucker? <laughs> you, Jerry. F you, Jerry. There's nothing you can do about my, my tattoos. Uh, you can suck my. Ah! Oh, shit. What the, the f? Josh? Jerry, jerk me off. You, you, that was amazing. Jerry just touched my. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. He hates tattoos. Any <laughs> Bro and not taking it as a proper investigation, just kind of doing it for a laugh for a YouTube video. Like Sam and Colby do ghost videos, so they do one, but in the same style as their usual videos, you know, like silly and stuff like that. I'm just not sure what to think because, as I say, if you go to their first ghost video and then go through to the newest, they get more serious as you go on. Even one dude did say that same thing. As you can probably tell, this video is, and like a lot of videos have started becoming less about goofing around and more about the experiences that we're having here, so. Yeah. Although they still prank each other a bit. I've been like, just staring. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> 
So I'm not sure if they started to believe a bit more and just wanted to get more serious or did they realize they get a lot of views so they're going to start to pretend to get serious and pretend to get evidence to put it across as a real investigation. Do you see what I mean? I seen on one video in the comments and they said something like the boys casually just getting the best ghost evidence on YouTube without even trying and I was like uh, yeah. What the hell is going on? What the f is that, bro? Cool. That wasn't there before. That was not. That wasn't that one. Just go. Just go. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Go, no, just go. No. Either this is fair, they have someone else there with them, or someone's messing with them. Which, to their credit, in that certain video, they do say that multiple times that they think it's a local messing with them. If someone is f***ing with us, which they are, some sort of local, it's probably like a f***ing like four foot three guy running through the f***ing vent. But the very weird thing, when they look for someone, there isn't anyone there, which we'll get to later in this video. Okay, finally, let's get into some of their videos. We'll start with the lighthouse one, like so many of you have asked. Today we are exploring a haunted lighthouse. So this is Augustine Lighthouse in Florida and I think it was made famous because it was investigated by ghost hunters a few times on their TV show and one time they apparently captured this here. A mysterious shadow figure peeking over the edge looking down. Now that's obviously just a person right? Now the thing is I cannot find that episode anywhere but after reading stuff online apparently they go upstairs to check and there's no one there except a locked door, eh? Okay, so they do some more exploring of the lighthouse first, just to check it out. You realize, like, we have to climb all these stairs. I didn't sign up for this shit. Oh. Oh. Classic. Now that we have explored the lighthouse, we're gonna go do some investigating. Okay, so they set up some equipment around the place to see if anything happens when they do the Estes method up top. Now I will warn you, they do a lot of the Estes method in this video, but in the next clips after the lighthouse one, things get a little bit more wild. This is how we're going to try and attempt to record for you today. So we have the spirit box connected to the headphones and we want you guys to hear what's coming through here so that you can see if the stuff I'm interpreting is the same as what you're hearing. I'm gonna put the microphone in there. You should be able to hear what's coming through that, especially when I put it on me. Shout out for the guys for doing that. Usually when you watch people do the Estes method, you basically just have to trust them that they aren't faking. Because we can't hear the noise of the spirit box, they could just be saying anything. They might not even have it turned on. And they're actually just responding with relevant responses to their friends who are asking the questions. It's also such a good idea because like he said, without us being able to hear the spirit box sound, we can only go off what he's interpreting the sound to be. We might have heard something else. I've only seen one other channel do this, which is Paranormal Quest. Are you in William's room? William. What? And I think others should definitely do this as well. I know in the future, if I try it, I'm going to try and do this exact thing. Is there any spirits in here? In there. In there. In where? Next to the... Next to the... Is there any spirits in here? Where are you? Get up. Help. Help. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh, they literally drowned in a oh, f***ing they did. The ghost in there. Up there. Is this Peter or the woman who lost her husband? Are you trapped tending the lighthouse? Nowhere. Nowhere. Oh, that was very f***ing clear. Oh my god. That was very clear. Peter. <gasps> Bullshit. Are you f***ing serious? All right, that is insane because... The one that you might call aggressive is named Peter Rasmussen. His anniversary of his death was actually yesterday. So, wow. To clearly hear Peter come through is a bit crazy. I mean, come on. Out of all the names that could possibly have come through, let's just listen again. Peter. 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 Alright, Peter, are you there? 
We have a device in which you can speak clearly to us, but you have to speak as clear as you can. Last year. Did you talk to someone a year ago? Bullshit. Did you hear that? That was clearly a woman mourning or singing. Do you know what it made me think of? Oh. Oh. What the no, that's f singing. That? What the f is that? That wasn't wind, that was like, that had tone. Yeah. That was like a door. No, that had tone and went. Uh, all right, I mean, if they're not faking and it's not the lighthouse owners setting stuff up like a speaker or something, then that's pretty wild. I've seen pictures of a girl at the top of the lighthouse. Is that you? Me. It is you. Come on. Fire. There was a fire that burned down this place. Um, the original quarters that everyone lived in. What happened in the fire? Someone says the dead. Bro, that was freaky as F. I love that they've recorded it so we can hear it as well. It sounded like it took a clip of something and at the end it almost carried on trying to say something else, but at the same time it stopped at dead, if you get me. Someone says the dead. Someone says the dead. Should we swap the headphones to someone else? How do you feel? Uh, I feel kind of dizzy, <laughs> to be honest. So while you were doing that, we've been hearing wind in here for sure, but we heard constant, only while you were doing Listen that, singing upstairs. No f***ing way. And it wasn't like wind, it was like... That's the thing I initially thought. Oh, that's got to be wind. But after listening to it a few times, I just don't know about that. Please make yourselves known through our friend Mully using the spirit box. Right after they were talking about that singing. Now that one's hard to hear, but if you stick some headphones in, close your eyes, it totally sounds like a woman. Could they have someone upstairs? Possibly, but by their reactions, I don't get the vibes that they're doing that. Mary, Eliza, potentially Elizabeth are here, or Ellie. Could you please say hello to us? Okay, once? What was that? Twice? Oh my god, that's creepy. Three times? Come on, get up there, go and see what's going on. There's enough of them to go to plenty of floors to figure out where this is coming from. Maybe we should go up. Go here. Sounds like they want us to go Let's up. Let's go up, yeah. She's saying to go upstairs. Go upstairs? Yeah. Okay, finally, let's go. I wanna know if we can hear the singing, cause it would- You gotta be able to hear at least some of the singing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming up. Just say thank you. Whoa. Sister. Are you one of the little girls, Mary or Eliza or the others? Were you singing? Did you want us to come up here? Accident. You had an accident. The Pity Sisters had an accident. We know you had an accident, we've heard your story. Sacrifice, whoa, that was really clear. I do not like war. I do not like war, that was really clear as well. Wait, 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 wait. Maria had to stop tending the lighthouse because of the Civil because War. Because of the war. Oh, that's why she left. Yeah. That's true. All right, so the spirit box just goes through radio stations apparently, right? So the little snippets we hear are from radio channels. It's just crazy when something comes out that's kind of relevant. But you do see this a lot though, that people make things fit. Like that bit there about the war. Although when they get to the top of the stairs and it immediately said, thank you, I was a bit like, oh damn. But on my first watch of this, I was like, wow. But after re-watching it now, there are quite a few misses that I've cut out because there were literally just random words coming through the spirit box. And that's the thing though, when you first watch it, you might get so hyped about those five relevant responses that come through, you might forget about the 15 random misses. But then you get something like this, which is pretty wild. 
Children. We know there's two children here. Are they with you right now? Tell her to. Tell her to. Tell her to? I think Maybe what she. Stop. I think what she meant. From the river. To from the river. <sighs> Yo, what the f? Wait. <laughs> Are you opening and closing the doors, Maria? Maria said the children. Tell them to. And then the children from the river, where they passed away, right over there. It was basically retelling us the story of. What happened to them? Did the girls die on site here? They died, um, so they died pretty much across the street. They would have had a cart, like a, almost like a mine cart, and the girls were using it as a roller coaster ride. Um, and the Had carts, an accident? Yep, yeah, cart didn't stop at the end of the dock with the brakes flipped and trapped them under the All water. All three of them at once? Yep, yeah, and they drowned. You see? Was that them making the responses fit to the story of the deaths of the young girls at the lighthouse, or what? All right, so now they're going to head over to the keeper's house, just outside of the lighthouse, and this was Peter's, if you remember. So let's see what happens there. They get straight into another Esther session. Who are we speaking with? Is Peter here? Welcome. Get <laughs> Thank you for allowing us into the house. I mean, come on. He only said welcome, but that is freaky. I wanna know if I'm gonna be safe in the basement with Peter. If you're here, can you sit in your chair, move around the chair? Do you see the REM pod over here? Um, if you get close to it, it will light up. Can you make it light up for us? That's just one of our- Can we talk? Absolutely. Absolutely, we're here to talk. Is there something you wanna talk about? Erica? All right, so some pretty cool things in there, but it's just came out with the name Erica. There's no Erica tied to the lighthouse history. So he says, they might be tricking us. Yeah. I was gonna say there's no Erica. There's no Erica in any of the notes. And that's what you see a lot of people do, whether it's the spirit box or just the apps. There's no Erica, but they still make it relevant and say the ghost might be tricking them. But it was freaky how it said, yeah, straight after, as if it's like, yeah, I am tricking you. 12 years old. Did that say 12 years old? Mm, I'm not too sure about that, but that's what's good about them recording the sound, so we can see what we took it as. Wait, wasn't that one of the ages of the kids that died? One of the girls was, was 13. 13. Both of them were 13. It's not known how old the other girl was. Are we speaking to Ellie, the girl that's unknown, that died here? Here it goes. Dude. <laughs> I know it could be random, but that was pretty cool. We know Peter's here. These are his quarters. If there's anyone else here that would like to say something, say it loud and clear. Trapped. Really clear, someone said trapped. Now that is the thing about that. That's one of the theories. The lady is supposedly trapped up there where the light is. And when I first watched, I was like, wow. That is insane because that's a pretty relevant word to come out because they were just talking about that. But on this second listen, I don't think it did say trapped, did it? Like I said, they've been talking about the lady being trapped, so he's interpreting it to say trapped because the word trapped has been spoken about so much. Say it loud and clear. Trapped. Say it loud and clear. Trapped. I don't know about that one. Do you know anything about what happened here? that caused this place to have to be rebuilt. That's right. That's right. Do you potentially know what happened that caused the fire? We didn't do it. Okay. Then who did it? The thin one. The, th the thin one did it. That's not me. Hold on. <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> you see, some things are lining up pretty good. Okay, so I've just cut out quite a bit because it's a long ass Esther session and we're not going over all of it, but I just want to check out this next bit because it's a bit weird. Is that you over by the chair? Come on, Molly, ask him a question. Come on, Molly, he wants you to talk. Yeah, he wants you to talk, brother. He wants me to talk. Clearly. Do you want me to talk? Answer. Come sit down. 
Go sit down next to where Eddie was. Wait. Is he saying go sit down? Is he yeah. saying sit down on that? No. No, no, no. Don't sit on it. Don't. Yeah. I'm sitting right here. He said, "Come sit down." And the REM pod went off on the chair. That's. It's Give me your arm, dude. Put your arm on the chair. <sighs> Ask more questions, Molly. They're talking to you. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm for him. Like, <laughs> is there anything you want me to do? I just heard a grown man laugh. Uh, no, stop it. Nope, don't like that. We're gonna be sending our friend here down to the basement alone. Is there anything he should be worried about other than you, Peter? William. Get f***ed. <laughs> he just said your name. That's not right. There's no way. Not gonna lie, that gave me the chills. The REM pod is on the chair and it went off. It said, come sit down. He sat down and it said, give me your arm. He gave his arm and it laughed and then it said his name. You're in my house now. <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What, what, what? Oh, what happened? Oh, I know you felt me. Bro. <gasps> <gasps> no way. Chicken. Ha, chicken. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Chicken, after he's just pooped his pants. So I'm going to end that session there because they do keep going for quite a while to the point where it's just getting a bit boring, I won't lie. That's the only thing I'd say about that. It's too long to do the same thing. A full video of you just doing the Esther session, it's just a bit too much. Although to be fair, they're in a lighthouse, so you can't really blame them because they're not really going to do much exploring in there like they usually do in their videos, are they? If you go check out the full video, it's a really good video and entertaining. And on my first watch, I was like, wow, they've got some good captures there. But on my second watch, when I didn't just listen to the words the guys said and read what they put on screen, when I actually tried hard to listen to the spirit box, I don't think the responses were as good as I first thought. Although they did get some very clear ones and some decent relevant responses such as Peter, that was awesome. One thing I thought was very cool was that singing they kept hearing. I don't know what that was. A window open, the wind, someone actually upstairs and they were just faking. I don't know. Okay, so they then go down into the basement of the keeper's house and not much happens there to be honest, which I guess is a good thing. Other people have been there and screamed demon. So that's a good sign, right? The only thing is they do more Estes and it's just a bit too much now. So we're going to move on to... Tonight, me and the boys are coming to the Hachijo Royal Hotel in Hachijoshima Island. It's that right there. So this is the video I was talking about at the start where it seems like someone is messing with them because some very strange things happen. But as I said, they can't find anyone. Is it someone very good at hiding? Is it them just faking the video? Or is it paranormal? Let's check it out. So they've flown to this tiny island off the coast of Japan. And this hotel is an absolute wreck. It looks like something out of The Last of Us. If you've played The Last of Us, you're a legend. It's very strange how it's just left abandoned like this because when it was open, it was a top hotel. The thing is with this though, as one of the guys said, and we don't want to disturb the Japanese people that are literally like outside of the hotel in a residential area. There's one street between here and like people. And we can confirm that by looking at their shot they got of the plane. There's a bunch of buildings around there. It's probably like most places now. The local kids see people filming there. They see them inside with their camera lights on and they just mess with them for a laugh. So, okay, before we check out what's going down, let's just take notice of who's here. We've got these five and the girl behind the camera. Because when stuff goes down, we're going to have to try and make sure everyone is there and make sure it isn't actually them messing with us. So they start exploring this hotel and things happen quite quickly. First off, we get a... Dude. What the f*** was that? What, what the f*** was that? Now, I know it's just a thud, but that was quite loud, and none of them claimed it as if it was them who did it. As we've seen, there are six of them, so it easily could have been, but no one said anything. Of course, it's an old building falling apart as well, so who knows. So then, we hear footsteps. Did you hear that? Maybe we shouldn't go. Bro, 
of it. And this is what I'm talking about. One of the boys is missing here. And... Oh, f what the f***? Mike, why the f*** would you do that? He hides and jumps out at them. I'm not going to lie, I don't like that. If I'm ever out with someone, please don't prank me. If you're pranking each other, who's to say anything else that happens isn't a prank or something as well? To me, it just brings things into question and makes me slightly not trust them because what if they're not only pranking each other, but also us watching, if you see what I'm saying. <laughs> Merry Christmas. No, that's just Mariah Carey, Merry Christmas. All I want for Christmas is you. Shut, shut up, shut up. Come here, come here, come here. Listen. No f***ing way. Hell no. No f***ing way. Um, Let's go this way. So something's going down, eh? Now, I won't lie, I thought the first knock came right from near them. To me, it sounded close, but the second one didn't, so I don't know. Okay, so they're going to head down to the basement. And as I said before, the boys do say... I don't know if that's just the locals f***ing with us, but I am not about to find out. You sound crazy, but why are we running deeper into it when there's some sort of f***ing like weirdo making noises in the, in the hallway? What other option do we have? So yeah, they're saying it might be a local, which it totally could be, and things just get a little bit more weird from here. Now, I don't get the vibe that it is them faking, but them pranking each other has made me very wary. I'm gonna see if they can give us a sign. Okay, I don't like that. That voice sounded so clear to me that it sounded overlaid and added into the video. Let me just play it back a few times. Did you hear that? I heard that. Yeah. Doesn't work. No, I literally heard that. No, I heard that too, dude. Yeah. Notice how they all say to each other, they heard that, but never say what they heard? Is that just to leave room for editing something in later? That's just a theory, but have a good listen and let me know what you think. I could be wrong there. I don't know, but hmm, I'm suspicious. You need to knock on the third store three times and say, are you there, hanako -san? Okay. Everybody turn the lights off. Are you there, Hanako-san? Did you hear that out there? The drag. Hmm, that just sounded like someone scrubbing their feet, to be honest. Do, do it again? Do it again. What? Yeah, might as well. Turn the turn love, turn love. Are you there, Hanako-san? Did you hear that? Yeah, I did hear that. Okay, thank you. <sighs> so something's out there. It's not a good thing. Ooh, now obviously we can't tell and it's not proof. So I'm not calling it that, but to me, it sounded like someone just dragged their foot. Not behind the mic of the camera and out in the hall, like they said. The second tap sounded the same. If you listen closely, close your eyes. It sounds like it's just right in front of the camera. I'll be honest, when I first watched, I was believing it was someone messing with them, but on this rewatch, mm, they're giving me bad vibes, I won't lie. Okay, so just before we move on from taps and thuds to something a bit more crazy, first, let's just listen to the whistling they hear. What? What the f is that, bro? I really... Do we go that way on the ground floor or do we go up? Check the map. Check the map? Um, check the map? What do you mean, check the map? You've just heard clear as day whistling when you're meant to be in an abandoned building alone. Check out where the hell the whistling is coming from and who it is. Hmm, they also heard whistling in the lighthouse, didn't they? Also, they were all accounted for there, so it was definitely someone else because I slowed it down on all of them to see if it was any of those making the whistling, and it wasn't. Whoa. What? Hell no. Hell no. What the f Hell no. Did you see that? Yeah. What was it? The door f The door just moved. It's okay, what the f We didn't just hear something this time. We actually seen that door slam. Let's do our little check. Are they all there? Okay, so there's two. Yep, 
there's those three and of course the girl filming. So yeah, weird one, but it could have been a draft or something, you will never know unless you're there really. Or was it this person that they think is there? Or was it someone else? Or something else? The thing is, they walk down towards the door and... You open it. I'm not opening it. You're in the front. What does that say? Hurry up, dog. It's a cupboard. What the hell? And did you see how hard it took to open? I don't know if it was something else hiding in there. This is getting freaky. Now, they did cut the camera until they got to the door. So if they were actually in on it and had an extra person, that would give them time to get out of there and close the door again. I'm not just diving into it's paranormal. You do just have to be wary of people doing stuff like that. They would have had to do that from the inside. It's like it went loose. Look how, look how strong that thing is on the ground. Yeah, but it was already open when we got here, which means it must have been like that for years. Ah, uh, it's not a cupboard, my bad. It's another room. So yeah, if there's someone else there, they could have definitely been in there. I mean, look, someone's definitely been in there. Was someone playing a very complicated Japanese is game of Jenga? Japanese Jenga? That's like an Indiana Jones type trap. If you touch it, we're f***ed. Obviously, this prankster wouldn't have time to do that, right? Do not f***ing knock that over, I swear to God. You f***ing idiot. We're gonna f***ing die. Uh-oh. If the ghost's just seen you do that, you're screwed now, buddy. So if someone is f***ing with us, which they are, some sort of local, it's probably like a f***ing like four foot three guy running through the f***ing vents. Let's keep going. Did you hear that? Shh, 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 shh. Don't. No f way. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'd have pooped my pants at that. Should we get out of here? We should get the f out of here, dude. Did you hear that? Was that a bell? Yeah. A bell just f***ing rang. Do you think it was like automatic or something and just still does that? Even though the building is abandoned? Ugh, creepy as f. Hello? I shouldn't have knocked down those soaps. You f***ing idiot. Guys? <gasps> the f***ing light turned off, bro. The f***ing light turned off. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. he pooped it there, didn't he? Okay, this is where it gets really weird. Oh, oh, oh. What the f*** was that you see? A door closed. A f***ing door in there closed. No, 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 no. Don't you sh me, don't you sh me. I'm not gonna lie to you. I almost shit my pants in real life. Why'd you run out? I don't know, I got scared. Which room, which room? Which room? In there. That door, that door you're looking at. Okay, so the past few things that's happened, there's been ways out for someone if it was someone else, hasn't there? Whether it's someone on their team or it is a local like they're thinking. This is just a room, no hallway to run away or whatever. So whatever slammed that door has to be in that room, right? Let's take a look. Bro, there's no one in here. Bullshit. That's bullshit. There is no one in here. Why are we fucking walking? <laughs> He's at the back now, isn't he? Dude, there's actually no one in here. Oh yeah? There's no one in here, huh? No, no. Well, how about this? There's no one in here. Okay, let me just go back. Ah, damn. I was going to say I want to see his camera footage, but he's just got his phone out and using his torch. And for some reason, with the calculator on. I'm f***ing sick and tired of this place. I'm done. I'm so f***ing done. Juicy, it could have been the wind. No, it couldn't have been the wind. It literally slammed shut, dude. There's absolutely no f***ing way it was the wind. Did you see it? Loads of people in the comments pointed this out, but personally, I don't think it's anything. Oh, I'm f***ing sick and tired of this place. I'm done. I'm so f***ing done. Do you see it could have been a kiss? Do you see it could have been a kiss? Do you see it could have been a kiss? Actually, is that someone messing with us here? What the f*** is that? I thought it was nothing, but now I've paused it and brightened it up. Ah! Get off my screen! What is- wait, wait, wait a second. Is that the torch? Well, it can't be the same torch, right? Whoa. 
This wait, what the f oh. wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Is Boys, that... look. Wait. Molly, you touched it. Yeah. Initially I was like, yep, there's someone messing with them. But now I'm looking closer, it's not the same torch. You can see the bottom of the left one is newer than the right. That one is super filthy. Go, 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 go. I can hear it's coming closer. Oh, this is the worst smell, dude. <laughs> it gets stinkier with every floor. It's the third floor. Shh, shh, I heard, heard something. Someone walking around. We need to get out of here. What's that? Go, 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 go. No, 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 go, no, go, no, go, no. Go, 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 Shut up, shut up. My brain is tingling, bro. <laughs> dude, dude, what the f was that? My, che my chest is actually aching, dude. Shut up, shut up. We gotta go, we gotta go. Nah, I'm only kidding. I swear I'd have probably shit my pants as well and, and done a little runaway. Someone threw something at them to mess with them, clearly. But still, that was a shocker. <laughs> but did you see how he looked down that way? even before the smash happened. And behind the camera are these two, who have both pranked us. Hmm, I'm a little bit suspicious right now. You must go to a third floor bathroom, mm -hmm. knock on the third stall three times. Hell. All right, lights off everybody. Are you there, Hanako-san? <gasps> no way, dude. dude, no way. Wait, wait, it's not yet. No. What if it's a f***ing, it could just be an animal, right? Yeah. I'm not sure. We'll open the door so the audience can see that there's nothing f***ing in there. Alright, ready? Yeah. yeah. Oh, run! Run! Shut up, Molly. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, shit. Run, Josh. Get the f***. Go, 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 go. Get down the f***ing stairs. Get down the f***ing stairs. Which way, which way? Wait, 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 wait. Slowly. This what the f***? Why is there f***ing trees on the floor? That wasn't there before. That was not f***ing. That wasn't there. Just go, just go. Go, no, no, just go. No, just no, go. No, no, no. Get out of here. Where's the other We have to get out of here. Go, 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 go. Fake. That's it. Fake. Nah. I'm not having it. That felt like a very YouTube entertainment way to finish off a video. Let's just take a look back at what happened because did you see it? Yeah. yeah. Let's brighten that up. Yeah, so once brightened up, you can literally see someone inside. And if you look down where that little metal like fixing bit is, you can see someone's little glint of maybe a watch or something. And you can see there, if I fast forward it and pull it back, you can see the motion of them pulling the door. Then they all run down the hall and their cameras are all over the place, but it's just slow enough to catch a little glimpse at something else. Run, run! Shut up, Molly, shut up. Get down the stairs, get down the Which way, which way? Wait, 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 wait. slowly. This what the f why is there f***ing trees on the floor? That wasn't there before. Ooh, spooky. A lot of the comments on the video were saying they actually caught a shadow figure. I think it actually moved as well. Let's have a zoom in. Wait a minute. Hold on. That was just two guys. They even have a torch. Hang on a minute. Are all the boys accounted for here? One, two, three, four, five, and the camera girl. Wait, hold on. Did we just catch the people who've been behind all of this activity? That is unfortunate. I don't think they're randoms trying to scare them, to be honest. That dude is just stood in the middle, thinking he's out of shot. The other one is a bit wary, peeking around the corner like, shit, bro, you just stood in the middle of the hallway. Get back here. Oh, no way. I've really been enjoying their videos as well. You're telling me these supposed local pranksters have avoided them so well and now they're randomly just stood in the hallway? Mm, I don't know. I think the boys have messed up here. That wasn't there before. That was not That wasn't there. Uh, yeah. Your two mates have placed it there to spook you. Yeah. And now they're smashing bottles next to you as you go for your final scare. But mate... 
If random bottles were actually flying at you and smashing, you'd react more than they're reacting. It's as if they know they're going to smash around them. Yeah. Ooh, very Blair Witch dropping the camera like that. This doesn't seem real anymore. All right, okay, wait, so. I know some of the guys have their own channels that react to the main channel videos. Let's see if they have reacted to any. Okay, so I've found Special Ed's reaction to it. Let's see what he says about this apparent shadow figure. Actually, when we're running away at the end of the video, after the stall door shuts on us, apparently there's another one, another shadow that's standing at the end of the hall. Uh, wait a minute, my guy. Are we just going to skip over the stall door shutting on you? Hmm. Carry on. And you can see it for like just a split second. Which way? Which way? Wait, 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 wait. Slowly. What the f***? Right there. That is clearly someone standing at the end of the hall. Oh, he says it's someone. I thought he was going to call it a spirit. His video is a month after the investigation where everyone was calling that a spirit. So I thought he was going to run with that. I don't know. Things were too obnoxious. Like the noises and the movement of things for it to have been something paranormal. Like I, 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 I think that was someone f***ing with us. Ah, hmm. That is what they were all saying all through the video, weren't they? But their actions tell me that they knew what was going down, to be honest. He's convincing here, though, I won't lie. But after them throwing glass bottles at them and them not even reacting to it, that's made me think that they knew what was going down. Just think, those guys had to have come from down the hallway, got right behind them to throw the bottles at them. How could you not know they were there? And let's not forget about the stall door closing on them. So I think that was someone f***ing with us. What do you mean you thought it was someone f***ing with you? The stall door got yanked out of someone's hand. You think he'd be saying it definitely was someone f***ing with us. You know what I mean? Is it a ghost? I don't f***ing know. I'll leave it up to you guys. Did we catch a ghost on camera? A ghost with a torch stood just talking to his friend? <laughs> I don't think so. You may have seen something if you opened up that stall, but of course they're not going to do that, are they? I don't believe it was locals messing with them. They would have had to have been stealthy ninjas to get around that place and dodge them like they apparently did. Not to mention that one door slammed in the room and when they went in there, there was nothing. In the camera cut, I'm calling that that guy come out of the room just to hide somewhere else. Okay, so... I was suspicious all the way through on my second watch. And I honestly do think that they messed up there and they left the extras in the shot. Do you know what I've just realized as well? When I watch their conjuring video, it's just the boys in the house and two girls. Then some footage gets corrupted and these two dudes just appear to fix the cameras. And I remember thinking, where the hell did you two come from? So in the Conjuring video, there was two guys in there behind the scenes, which we had no idea about. Is this the same here? I mean, I'm just talking about that Conjuring video from memory, so I might be wrong there. Um, so don't quote me on that one. But I remember thinking that. Also, when they were at the clown motel, a random killer clown appeared. And they acted as if it wasn't any of them. But to me, their acting give it away that it was planned for them for the video. So anyway, now that I think they are staging things, this explains this a bit more. Dude, are you fucking serious? I'm not going down there. Look how creepy it is down there, Dose. Also, when I was watching the Lighthouse video, I did have my suspicions then as well, didn't I? Now I think they are using more people. That will be even more fun to re-watch again to figure out what's going on. Like when they heard that whistling, they didn't check it out for a good while, did they? Enough time for the person to climb up further and go into that room ghost hunters used to hide their shadow man. Oh man, I don't know. This one's been long and a bit of a roller coaster. I believed them. I was suspicious. I believed them. I was thinking they're faking. I wasn't sure. And now I'm thinking they're using extras. I don't know, guys. I think I busted them there, to be honest. Those two dudes just stood in the hallway. I don't believe they were locals. They hid so well. And then they're just going to stand in the hallway. 
I think they accidentally left them in the cut. Anyway guys, as always, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.